Palmdale student who died after sustaining injuries while at school is now suing the school district. The lawsuit was announced today at a press conference where new video from the scene of the crime was released. The family says if the school was better supervised, their son would be alive today. Alatea's is here with that story. Marla. This happened about 10 months ago. This deadly incident took place in the campus parking lot and involved some dangerous stunt driving. It resulted in the death of 17 year old Jonathan Alfaro. Today, we heard from his family and their attorney who blamed the Antelope Valley Union High School District, which they are now suing. At that press conference today in Pasadena, the mother and sister of Jonathan Alfaro stood near pictures of him, one showing the 17 year old and his LAPD cadet uniform the other when he was fighting for his life after being thrown from a truck in the parking lot at William J. Pete Knight High School in Palmdale. This incident happened in February. Today the family attorney released some new video from that school parking lot in it. You can see cars and motorcycles speeding by. Another clip appears to show students hanging from the side of a truck. The family says when Alfaro died, he was in the bed of his family's truck when a fellow student was driving recklessly, lost control after hitting a speed bump. Jonathan was thrown from the truck and suffered severe injuries. After undergoing several surgeries, Alfaro died in March. You send your kids to school thinking it's a safe place for them and never would have thought something like this would happen. I don't wish this on any family, but I do wish there had been supervision in the school parking lot to prevent any type of incident like this from happening. This parking lot was a danger zone, and school administrators, school officials should have acted, should have done more to intervene and protect the kids at P9 High School in Palmdale. Attorney Michael Correa there says the school and staff knew that this parking lot was a dangerous place where kids would regularly race and do burnouts and donuts. The lawsuit says the school's negligence resulted in Alfaro's death. The attorney also says the driver, who is a minor, is now facing misdemeanor vehicular manslaughter charges. Now, we, of course, did reach out to the Antelope Valley Union High School District, which is the target of this lawsuit. We also left a message for the superintendent's office. So far, no word from either.